I'm standing inside of a condo that is so true to Washington, D.C. style, history, old architecture, and just historically, it, this building and unit captures it perfectly, so that's why I have to show it to you. This unit as a whole is only about 600 square feet. It's a one-bedroom condo unit. It's in a pretty special building, which has been classified by the city as a historical um, or a historic landmark. It can't be t torn down, it can't be altered, as far as I know, unless somebody with an incredible amount of money <laughs> outweighs that. This building is called the Wyoming, and it's in an area of DC called Calorama, which is right next to the popular areas of DuPont Circle and Adams Morgan. The building was built somewhere around 1908, 1908 to 1910. The, the, the gauge on that of when it was actually built is a little bit rough, a little bit uh, blurry, but it's somewhere in that range. This used to be a building that had two towers to it. It still does. The North Tower um, being an area where a lot of naval officers of high rank would actually stay and live. President Dwight Eisenhower lived in this building prior to him actually becoming president. You also had other people of notoriety that lived in the building. And then you have the South Tower, which was actually completely filled with um, the workers for the building that would maintain it and take care of it and actually take care of the guests or residents on the North Tower. Uh, this unit right now is listed at 450000 I'll explain more once I turn this around and start showing it to you, but you'll immediately see what I'm talking about, how cool this little unit is. Okay, so this is as soon as you walk in. They've done some nice uh, additions of the woodland wallpaper, as well as some other uh, ornamental, not ornamental, but checkered wallpaper that really brings it together. But look how cool this is. This feels so DC because they've perfectly blended elements of the old structure with newer modern elements and of course staging and design. But if you come in here and you look at the flooring, this is original flooring. It's just been restored, but it's been here for a hundred year, uh, 120 years. This is awesome. These units in particular in this South Tower, because these were where workers used to live. Uh, I believe, you know, at that time it was probably servants, but they didn't have kitchens. They did not have kitchens in these. They would go downstairs for their meals and whatnot. So this had to be kind of uh, installed in here, a makeshift kitchen. So this is definitely not your ultimate chef's package. But if you're someone who's able to get by with maybe one pan cooking, you have your coffee and whatnot, you do a lot of microwaving of your food, things of that nature, um, then you, you'll probably be just fine. So we have some uh, Mealy installed small uh, top burners in here. Also have a, a Mealy microwave over this way. You have your dishwasher and whatnot, um, and a small a small fridge here. So they did a little backsplash ad here, a little vent hood, a Bosch hood, which is nice. So if you're if you're more on the um, simpler side, on the cooking, or you're not home a lot, then you can absolutely make this work. Someone that buys this unit is not going to be buying it for, you know, all of the flashy amenities and brand new building type deal uh, things. They're going to buy it because it's a piece of history. And it's so very unique um, in terms of somewhere that you would live. I mean, you'd have one of the most unique places among all of your friends at, if you lived in D.C. This is probably something more commonplace that you would find if you were in New York City or something of that nature. This is a uh, uh, import from France, this marble mantle that they've installed him here. It's not obviously not working, that's a black painted wall, but the mantle adds a, a nice touch to it because all of this decor, everything in here, or all the original framing and structures and moldings is a French Parisian style. So what they've done is they've brought in and imported some items like this, this 19th century French mirror, this Parisian mirror that they've, they've brought in. And it's absolutely massive. I mean, I look tiny in it. It's probably, it's probably eight feet, nine feet tall. You have blackout blinds, uh, roller blind shades if, if you want them. 
The new installed lights are very cool, but the original cap and molding has been kept intact, which I like very much. You have French doors, which have been installed to separate the bedroom from the living room. These are the built-in bookshelves that you find in the older buildings that were probably always there as a design element. The bathroom's been redone completely. It looks very, very nice. So you enter in here, and as you wrap around here, still got the older door with the frosted glass. I really like that. But the bathroom itself, really nice. Nice, sizable step-in shower. Plenty of room in the shower. Frameless. And as we move into the bedroom, we have a small linen closet right here behind this door. Very cool. This is much older. I don't know if this has been put in here. Um, it's certainly an antique. I don't know if it was always here or they purchased it from elsewhere and brought it in here. Nonetheless, it does fit the, the old historic uh, vibe of this home because this was not recently, recently made. I'll look at, here's the detail of it. I think it fits perfectly in this room here. Good use of wallpaper again, matching with the tones. You have a complete built-in, you know, at, at first when these were built, obviously these uh, shelving units and, and drawer space and storage space did not exist. So this was a good use of space along the walls to install all these. So you have full closet space right here, uh, almost floor to ceiling. And then the original closets right there, which is not too large at all. You could hang, you know, a few shirts, a few jackets in there, whatnot, but uh, nothing substantial. So this takes care of all that with the built-in the built in shelving. And of course, with the recurring theme of your marble going across your countertops, which is, which is nice. Plenty of sunlight in this unit though. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I just think that's a really, I mean, when you walk out of your bedroom in the morning, this is just a cool view to come out to. It's just really, I mean, it's, it's cozy, it's warm, it's inviting. It's really nice. So that was about it. I am also going to take some video of the, uh, the foyer in the lobby uh, downstairs in the main, the main room. Actually, I'm going to flip this around now. I'm going to take some video of the, um, the lobby downstairs, the front of the building and whatnot, so that you can see some of the architecture and, um, and design elements that have gone into the building as a whole and just how incredible some of the buildings here in D.C. actually are. So we'll skip to that.